Alright, Edwin here, in this video I want to show you what Block Cache Cow, the plugin, can do and how it functions. I already installed the plugin and I entered my options and I show you in the members area and in the manual uh, how to do that and where to get your details and things like that. And I already created one ad and that will be used as uh, the default ad. And what I mean with that I will show you uh, later on. Uh, but for now, uh, let's uh, get started with uh, the plugin. And uh, I'm sure that you will like what you see. Okay, in this block, I haven't entered any posts whatsoever. So what I'm going to do, and uh, just to show you how it works, I'm going to ease in articles. And let me not take an example that I already tried, but let me do something like um, women's boots. What I'm going to do now is uh, just to show you uh, how the plugin works is I'm going to retrieve an article uh, from uh, Easy in Articles and uh, post that on my blog and if everything works okay with the plugin and then uh, the plugin should analyze the post uh, retrieves the keywords that it uh, finds and uh, based upon that will create a product ads and product ads are from uh, the networks that you enter so you can select uh, the ads from uh, Amazon or Commission Junction uh, eBay Linkshare or you can uh, mix and match you can create a combination okay I copy and paste it the woman's boots and I'm almost sure that it must understand that this article is about women's boots so as you see I only published it I didn't enter any keywords or, or things like that and uh, if all is okay the ads as you see appear below and that is how the plugin works it analyzes the content just like uh, AdSense uh, where it analyzes uh, the content from your uh, posts or pages and based upon what it thinks uh, the keywords should be it will uh, go out to the networks and uh, retrieves the most relevant uh, products uh, for those keywords just in case that you want to override the keywords that it finds um, you also have the option to manipulate the keywords and that is if you go to the uh, posts just below the post you will see a block cache cow uh, custom uh, part and uh, right now these keywords are entered and the keywords are uh, multiple so each keyword is uh, separated by a uh, comma so every time there will be a different uh, product ad based upon uh, one of those keywords but if you want to say for instance I only want winter women's boots all you have to do is enter that uh, keyword over there and click the update and if you go to the post view post you will see that the products are now winter women's boots and that is how it works so you can always override uh, what the plugin thinks uh, the keywords are and uh, you can use multiple keywords so you can separate it by comma and that way always show different uh, product ads and that way you always know that your uh, product ads are uh, relevant to your content in the beginning I said something about a default ad well you can create multiple ad layouts and uh, the layout is how uh, the product ads are uh, structured so how many uh, ads from Amazon should there be how many from eBay uh, should it be a grid or a row layout uh, uh, things like that you can enter in your uh, ad layout and uh, you select one as the default so uh, for every uh, post that you haven't entered any keywords uh, those will be used but you can also uh, say for instance uh, 
I want some posts uh, with product ads from Amazon and some posts from Commission Junction and things like that. And that is also possible just by creating a new layout and using it in uh, this part. Because right now there is only one ad layout, but the moment that you create more, there will be uh, more available and then you select those. And all you have to do is update the post and then it will use uh, those uh, criteria. For instance, if I'm going to change this to, as it was a grid, to a uh, road type, and I say save layout, and I refresh this one, then instead of the grid, there should be, and there is a row layout. And that is how it works. It also works in a way that it uh, does not slow down the loading of your page. Um, the page is normally loaded and uh, this part is all uh, created on the fly but it does not wait before the uh, page is loaded. So this one, this part never slows down your uh, pages or posts and that is something that I think that is very important because uh, the visitor should never be uh, interrupted in uh, a uh, slow loading uh, page and uh, like I said the most important part is of course that the ads that are below uh, or above because you can also select uh, another type of layout uh, the content um, are always relevant to your uh, content okay I hope you like uh, what you saw and uh, if you have any questions just ask us okay thank you very much